Hey, what's good? Thanks for clicking on a Pay Me No Mind video, sports and entertainment. I know the podcast has been on hold a little bit lately, but I'm working on that. But I just wanted to touch base on the Redskins game today. I know uh, five and two. We didn't know what five and two really meant going into this game. And while this was a, a, a major test and, you know, being down now going into the final two minutes of the game, being down 38-14, almost in an empty stadium from what I can see on TV. Uh, a lot of things went wrong today, but it's not time to get down uh, on the team. I think, obviously, we have to trust in the fact and believe that there is a formula for the Washington Redskins to continue to win games uh, end up in in the playoffs, but definitely go 500 or better. You know, uh, that can still be done. But we have to understand that the formula that we've been winning these games, while it's not the sexiest, it can work. But we have to understand also and keep in mind that if you stack up the offenses that we face week in and week out here today with uh, Ridley, uh, Julio Jones and Sanu. If you look at our wide receiving core, we don't have the talent to match up with most of these offensive teams that we that will face. And so even if we were to make it into the playoffs, you know, if we faced a uh, Car- I mean, a, well, we did we beat Carolina, but if we face up a uh, matchup against um, the Saints who blew us out, you know, uh, the Rams obviously or a uh, Minnesota. Uh, we're not going to be able to play up and down the court with those ty- with those types of teams. So this goes back to you know a, a problem that's been um, plaguing us for several years that we haven't been able to draft uh, wide receivers. But let's not get down. Still, uh, just Smith was sacked. But uh, Dotson, you know, he scored a touchdown today. I don't know if you remember last year. I believe against uh, Green Bay. I thought it was. Uh, Dotson caught that ball in the end zone to try to come back against, I thought it was Green Bay, but he caught the ball in the end zone against whatever team it was. And instead of just going to the ground and, and making contact with the ground and securing the touchdown, he went to brace himself on the way down. And then when he hit the ground, the ball came out and it was a game that we were trying to come back in that we weren't success- successful in this year. You saw that earlier in the game, he scored the touchdown and he secured that ball and got the touchdown. Now it looked like at that time we were going to come back um, or we were in the middle of a comeback. Cause I think the defense got a couple more stops right after that touchdown, but you know, things got out of hand, but what we need to see to finish in the, to finish this up is we need to continue to see Dotson, uh, his 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 uh, confidence improve, his uh, fire uh, show up week to week. He got the taunting foul earlier, uh, spinning the ball on the ground and then saying something. But we need to see that type of energy out of him and that he wants to compete and be great. We haven't really seen that. So it's good to see that energy. You know, he, he didn't follow up the great week that he had last week, which still, I mean, was five Great in terms of, uh, you know, a career high in catches, I believe. But I think it was still only for about 40 yards. He had some drops earlier today, but he came back. He's going to need to become more of a presence at wide receiver if we're able to do anything late, uh, you know, this season or going into the playoffs. He's going to need to be a, a, a crucial part of that. Also, don't get down because before we face... um. The Philadelphia Eagles, I believe, December 3rd or something. We got three winnable games coming up right now. Um, The Buccaneers, another high-scoring offense with pretty good wide receiving core. But we can do some things there, especially Fitzpatrick usually stumbles in the second or third game that he starts. So uh, we can can win that one. Texans. The uh, Hopkins out there, you know, uh, what's his, one of the hottest teams in the NFL, Watson at QB. That's a tough one, but we – and we played them at uh, in Houston. But then we had a Cowboy. So we can get two of those three conceivably. Uh, it's not implausible. And then, like I said, December 3rd, Monday Night Football, um, you know, at Philadelphia. So as long as we can go two and three in these next games, set up a good game against or meaningful game against uh, Philadelphia, not lose our spirit, not lose our team chemistry, you know, some things are still in play. Um, Lastly, you know, 
which is kind of some of the earlier stuff that I've alluded to. Smith, it's no sense in getting down on Smith. He is what he's always been. But the thing is, right now, he's trying to do a lot of his work today through an aging Vernon Davis. I don't know what's up with uh, Jordan Reed and his his uh, fight today, his competitiveness, but it's kind of odd and disheartening to see him pulled out of the game. I don't know what was going on there. And I got the mute, I got mute on right now, so I can't hear anything uh, late in the game. But uh, we'll need Jordan Reed to step up. Again, not a great season by him. Crowder has been MIA for like a season and a half now. Uh, Thompson continues to be hampered by injuries. Uh, just it's, it's no sense in us getting down. I mean, five and three isn't horrible. And, um, you know, the defense is still the cornerstone of this particular team. And, you know, it's just a, it's just a day when we couldn't get off the field, couldn't get the, uh, the, the opposing offense off the field. This defense, there's a chance for defenses to show warts. And, um, you know, Josh, uh, Josh Norman, despite being a little fired up today and looking good early, he kind of made some key, uh, had some mishaps that led to two of these touchdowns. Uh, but I think he got held on one of them that they didn't call. It, it was a good no call, but he could have been, um, I think it was for the second touchdown when they ran past him. Uh, but anyway, it's neither here nor there. My main message is, it's no sense in us getting down. Dotson just dropped another pass. Um, we are who we are, but it's still a chance to go somewhere in the NFC East this year and make it to the playoffs. And, you know, Maybe have a home stand, you know, for the playoffs. Again, we just do not have the firepower to face some of these teams with uh, deep or versatile wide receiving cores. And, uh, you know, when they take, when we get down big and we take AP out of the game uh, or teams take AP out of the game, it just is what it is. And I see Chesson is out here trying to catch passes now. So, again, that's just emblematic that we're trying to find – and in fact, that uh, you know Harris, I believe, had over 100 yards receiving today. Jordan, I mean uh, Vernon Davis, we threw like six consecutive passes to him. Uh, we can't get too down on Smith. We still need him to be the leader. And uh, you know, even though he was great throwing the ball beyond 25 yards last year, top two, top guy in the league doing that last year. We just don't have a wide receiving core out there this year to take advantage of that. So this one got out of control. Uh, it's a sobering, disheartening, you know, performance. But still a lot of key things out there for us left to accomplish. And so, you know, hell to the Redskins. Peace.